Global. We're back again. Yes, sir. My guy, Roddy Flacco. What's up with it, my guy? What's up with it, man? Before the world ends, let's talk about it. Let's just jump into it, man. Now, why the title, Before the World Ends? Basically, just because of all the stuff going around, you know, everything, the controversy right now with the government, you know, it just gives that Before the World Ends vibes, and I know that'll be, like, catchy right now, so I just use that as, like, an advantage and, like, to catch you, you know, and I fuck with it. Like, it's, it, it goes deeper than that, but yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, nah, shit, bro, like, it was like 12 songs. Was it like, when you planning on dropping the mixtape or everything started happening, you was like, I got so much music, let me drop. Or you did, was it all new recorded? So, yeah. Well, yeah, I had some old stuff I did put on it, but I got on roll just newly recorded stuff and, like, it just came together. And then 420, I always drop something on 420. Yeah. So, it all just came together at that day, and I was like, I ain't gonna lie, to get it off on 420, I had to come and like, you know, hustle at the end. But yeah, I put it all together, bro, and I just did it for the people who really fuck with me, you know. For sure, for sure. Now, shit, how, like, how do you just think about what songs you gonna put on the mixtape? Because, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, the Hot 35 project, I see a difference in this project. I see growth as an artist, but I see, like, you also experimenting with just different sounds yeah. and, and, and different flows. So like, how do you just, you know, pick what songs go, go where? Shoot, like when I recorded uh, Before the World Is, I just had just like, I don't know, I just went to rap, rap, and like, I just like, I don't know, I just envision, I listen to music and then I take it in and then I just like take a lot of stuff in and see how I want to cook differently, like better. So this one I came with just, you know, bars and cadences, less singy and vibey stuff. And like, you know, that's really how that came together. And then I just put like my different stuff that I recorded on the side in it too, you know what I'm saying? Now you had like, I want to say like five or six features. Yeah. Now, was it just like, bro, like y'all got to hit, like, y'all got to be on my tape. It was more so like, these are all my friends, you know what I'm saying? So we all work, I respect the work they do. And like, you know, they work, they, their work matches my work ethic. So, you know, of course I'm gonna have them on it. And it's all genuine, so. It really wasn't no, hey, come get on my tape. It was a, that song we recorded, don't put it on the tape. You know, that's how I reached out to them. And it was like, yeah, 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 for sure. Nah, for sure, for sure. Nah, shit, like, I see, like, when, when y'all do all your homies or whatever, like, it's like, collect. I can tell y'all collective when I listen yeah. to the music, like, just from the vibes and the beats. It's just like, I know you say you wasn't, like, ASAP Rocky fan, bro, but it just give me them type of... I know you was a oh, fan, yeah. but it give me them vibes. You know what I'm saying? The ASAP my vibes. That's how we would, honestly. In that way, we would be like that down here, what we do. Because everything we do, we do it genuine. We ain't trying to be like nobody. We got our own blueprint, you know what I'm saying? So, I fuck with uh, the V-Lone and all that. So, you know what I'm saying? That's a, a what is it? A compliment. So, yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, shit, with all this corona and shit going down, bro, like, how did you spend your 420? Shoot. Uh, it was very good, honestly. For me, it was good because, you know, it's 420. Everybody likes to chill, you know, have good vibes and smoke. So, you know, that's all I did. He got in the studio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I made some music on that day. It was like, yeah. Nah, for sure, for sure. Now, shit, what's your favorite song on the tape right now? Uh, I like uh, I Can't Lose and Aqua Blue Sunrise. They're like they're two different kind of vibe songs. Yeah, but sure. like those are probably like the two that I like the most off the tape that I listen to the most. Yeah, for real. Like not just because we said it off camera, like was for real shit. Yeah. That's your two for that's crazy. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Now shit, I told you off camera that I like the Aqua Blue song right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite song on there, so definitely check that out, man. That was uh, produced by Solo Corey. He uh he one of the new producers I'm working with. Yeah. I got some more music with him too, so yeah, be expecting a lot more of those kind of vibes because yeah, we so, so now being an artist, bro, like how do you keep yourself focused? Like you said, like during quarantine, team, it's like it's boring. Yeah. It's just some niggas just playing the game all day. I feel like shoot, if you really an artist, bro, you live it. So shoot, we are, we go. I really live like you know an artist life. Like bro, I make music. I feel like I was born to make music. So anything I'm doing, I'm taking that in to go make music. So I can go do this and this. But when I come to the studio, everything I experience, I just use it. And that's honestly how I came up with that too before the world. You know, I was I've been making moves and stuff, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm on the up, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really on my ground right now and I feel like that's the music that I'm making too. That's the energy I'm bringing, the energy I'm putting into life. For sure, for sure. Now shit. 
Uh, bro, you're a Fort Worth artist, and you don't sound like what's coming out of Fort Worth right yeah. now. Like you got your own sound, you got your own way. So, Thanks. how do you feel about the 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 music that is coming out of Fort Worth right now? Do you like it or is it like shit? I'm just yeah. on. Honestly, I I like the music. It give me live. Like you know what I'm saying. I love. I play shit loud. Like you know what I'm saying. I fuck with it, but like I can't make music just like that because it's not me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But I like it though. I definitely like it. For sure, for sure. Do you think Fort Worth is one of the hottest cities in DFW right now for music? Facts, super facts. I feel like once we all get the bridges together and really focus on the money, we're going to be really, really powerful. And it's going to see a lot of up, uprising. But, you for know sure, what I'm saying? We're sure. working out those kinks. Now, how do you think you can do that? Because Fort Worth, I don't know about the underground music scene in Fort Worth yeah. besides, like, I mean, like, really as far as the deep, network. Bro. It's deep. As far as the network when it comes down to, like, shows and yeah. shit like that, like, is there that info worth? Yeah, it's a lot of that's deep. You got like people like uh Premier Live, you got Proper City, Proper City Propaganda, you got Medusa ENT, you got like people who bring big artists to the show or to the city, you know what I'm saying? And they they uh host like the local rappers too, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of you got a lot of that down here for sure, for oh, sure. So then I gotta tap in more about Zeus, he booked us at some shows, you know, Leon like Leon Bridges, yeah, all yeah. them, yeah, he they uh we like they we network with they camp too. They do a lot of stuff. Like, you know, that city yeah. is real busy. Like even different kind of vibes. For sure. For yeah. sure. Now shit, who would you say the top five Fort Worth artists, like, of all time is? Because there's a lot of people come out of Fort Worth, bro. Uh okay, I'm gonna say Twisted Black. Okay. Leon Bridges. Is he a sure. rapper or a gospel singer? Nah, he's an artist, bro. Okay. He's an artist. You okay. know what I'm saying? He's a real artist. Okay. You just gotta check him out. He actually got a uh Oscar, what was it? What was it? Grammy? Grammy. Grammy, Grammy. Bro. Yeah. He cool man down to earth and really, he really doing it in life. If you if for somebody living out forward, bro, he's doing it. But yeah, him. Uh, who else? You gotta say Yale. I fuck with Yale for sure. Uh, who else can I say? All around. Let me see who else. I don't know, man. That top three for sure, because honestly, I feel like I'm gonna be the best, one of the best to come out too. Since like time with time, giving time, but I can say those top three, like for sure, I look up out there and like, you know, yeah. who, I I can. Who else can I say, man? I can say some more people. Like rapping wise, my boy Nino definitely is one of the best rappers out of Fort Worth. You for said sure. Nino. Nino so supreme. Nino, okay. Nino okay. so supreme. Yeah. I'll eat from forward too. Yeah, okay. he's definitely one of the best rappers. That's just honest opinion, and I just so happen to know him. Like rapper wise, he definitely. For sure. For sure. I gotta tap in more. I gotta tap in more. Yeah, for facts. For sure. For sure. Now, shit, bro. Like, man, you, you, your music is streaming everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You, you really kind of drop when you want to drop. It seems like you got a solid fan base. That's that's. Yeah, yeah, steady yeah. growing. Yeah. How do you like interact with your fans? Like, what do you do to keep people interested in Roddy Flacco? Shoot, man, I'm really trying to be in front of the camera more because, like, shoot, being around me is like very entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like to have cameras out when I'm doing it all the time. But shoot, man, I just interact with my fans a lot. Like on Snapchat, I got a lot of like followers on there too. Like, I interact, talk to them, I meet them sometimes. I go hang out with you know what I'm saying. All my people who listen to my music. I try to hang out with them and try to be interactive because, you know, they listen to your music, they spread the word to the people, you know what I'm saying? I try to hit all ages, you know what I'm saying? It's a fact. It's a fact. Now, shit, you did a media run last for your last project. Yeah. Now, how beneficial was it to be out reaching with the blogs and different platforms and stuff like that? Uh, I, I got a chance to be more of an artist because usually, like, when you drop it, you got to just be out there, like, really out there to do what I did and like for all the people to be see me and like it's like me personally I could take like a little less step back as far as like trying to be out there so much you know what I'm saying yeah. you kind of did that for me sure. so I used that and took that in and working on every people who anybody who's still looking at me from that then that point I'm still working hard to keep yeah. interested for sure for sure so you feel like it was definitely worth it yeah for sure yeah for sure for sure and I said what advice do you give somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's, that, that they, they want to be a rapper? Man, you can do it, man. Like, say you got a song right now that your friends tell you is good, but you don't feel confident about it because it don't sound like something. Just do it, man. Just drop it. Everybody can do it. You never know. It's somebody I met, like, uh, 
three weeks ago, they could be bigger than me just starting off. It just so happy to, you know what I'm saying? That's, you never know. Somebody, everybody got different times, so. For sure, for sure. Now, let me ask you this, bro. Since, you know, you do rock with Miss G. Yeah. And the Miss G and Erica Banks be, <laughs> yeah. they kind of, you know, come from my page. Yeah. Who do you think won between Miss G and Erica Banks? Shoot, me personally, how I see it, I'm gonna say Miss G, cause that's game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm seeing it from her perspective and like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to see it from somebody else who's on that side as far as like, I get free uploads from Half Pint and some, so she gotta work without the, all the eyes, so, you know, she did what she could. I fuck with Miss G, I fuck with her hustle, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Now, did you like the Erica Banks song? Let me ask you that, the diss back response. It was yeah. hard, yeah. Okay. It was hard. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. okay, okay. Was, I, ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna lie, though. I'm gonna keep it one million, yeah. But, yeah. They both was hard, though. Yeah, they like, both was hard. I, I wish they could really, you know, figure it out. But, uh, okay, we gonna get on that. Yeah, I have yeah, to ask you. <laughs> Damn, okay, okay, okay. Now, shit, now, who, what other artists you listen to? Uh, like, you mean, like, locally or just? Locally, locally, like. Uh, you know, Cash Kendrick? Page. Okay. Cash Page, for sure. Bro. Shout out she Cash Page. Like, yeah, she really fuck with me. Like, I guess you could say she kind of co-signed me in a way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she fuck with my music, but yeah, her, uh, Nino So Supreme, has been the same clean, you know, our mob, GMB. And, uh, who else have I been listening to, man? Because I have been listening to, like, uh, I listen a little bit of Go Crazy, you know, I like I like his energy, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Different. For sure, for sure. Then, oh yeah, Guala Cobain. I, gotta give Man, I keep hearing his name. Bro, you need to fuck with Guala. He like, he I, 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 I seen something, and I, I, I liked it, it was cool. It you was need cool. to fuck with Guala, yeah, he got his own style, bro. I fuck with him, bro, you can tell he down to earth. Yeah, I fuck with his music, though. For sure, for sure, that shit, bro, like, anything we miss, anything you want to speak on? Uh, no, I just want everybody to check that hoe out, man. Like, I, my bars are hard. They're all there. It's everything you can see is right there. Just click on the link and listen to it, because this shit is hard. And, like, if anybody don't think it's hard, then you probably just hate or Or you prove otherwise. You come with some harder. For sure, for sure. Now, let me ask you this, bro. Now, where is your biggest fan base? Uh, I would say... Well, statistically wise, over here, it would be, like, it says like Dallas, yeah. then Fort Worth, and Cleveland, and then really the Johnson County area. Okay. Yeah, all, like that whole county. They, had anybody reached out to you from out of state? Like, hey, we yeah. rock with your shit. Yeah, okay. California. I got a lot of people in California who rock with me. Okay. Nevada. Uh, I got somebody in Mexico, New Mexico. They fuck with me down there. Uh, where else? Atlanta. I know there's people down there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Canada, yeah, I got a lot of people all over that. You know, I'd be touching bases with. Oh, Colorado, Denver, Colorado. I think put it, put it rack six. Yeah. 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 Black shit. You know everybody around the world. They go. Hey. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, shit. Yeah. Now, I. How do you feel about the bloggers doing their jobs as far as like? Cause I seen this post, bro, and it was like, matter of fact, let me read it. Let me read it to you. I don't want to be wrong when I uh, when I say this. One second, man. Okay, here it is. It's funny these so-called go bloggers will post famous nigga shit for free. I mean, straight dick ride, twenty four seven, even on some negative shit to get their name out of there. But a rapper, producer, etc. That's trying to come up gets taxed like fifty to hundred. I ain't saying it's me. I'm just saying the shit. And damn, y'all niggas play the game bad. Y'all niggas supposed to be the gatekeepers to help the talent get better and find a new wave out the city, but nah, y'all niggas just insist on putting a big ass gap between up and down instead of trying to see you up, I guess. How do you feel about that? Shit, I mean, pay all up. Everything come with a fee, bro. If you want to get out there, bro, everything you gotta pay. So she get more money if you want to get out there, make be more successful, work harder. Get what's yours, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And you gonna get out there, shit. I've been working hard. I still feel like I can work harder. You know what I'm saying? So shit, go get it. Let's complain that we're doing. For sure, for sure. Now, shit. How do you stay so positive when everybody's not listening to your music right now? You know what I'm saying? Man, I just know. Like eventually, everybody will be listening to my music, bro. It's only a matter of time. So I'm only getting better over time. Shit, it's really only a matter of time, bro. So streaming almost there. 
Yeah. <laughs> Talk your shit, man. Yeah, they stream though. They definitely I got a lot of streams too. I got streams for sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to be out more too and like really I'm really trying to be on the next level, to be honest. And that's when I like I wanna like drastically go up. And everybody know what that means though. But doing it my own way. For sure. For sure. So Hey bro, I appreciate you for coming by, man. Before the world ends, Before if you haven't seen it, is. if you haven't heard it, man, make sure you tap in, man. Roddy Flacco. Fuck with me, man. I appreciate it.